busting a sweat today cleaning this cage. <laughs> All right, guys. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. We appreciate you coming back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically created for new chinchilla owners to get a grasp on how to take care of these guys, handle these guys, build a bond with these guys, and just how to be the most ethical chinchilla owner and parent that you can be. So if that is you, make sure that you give us one of those thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, and hit that little bell notification button. So you are notified every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m. when our new videos are released. And as you can see, guys, if you take a peek behind me here, no, I did not get rid of Chili. No, I did not let her escape but we are cleaning the cage today and we do have a video that we want to make for you today so i got everything kind of emptied out i still have to clean it up some got her down in the playpen in the other room but today's video i want to cover seven reasons that's right seven reasons that you should not 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 adopt a chinchilla i know it goes against what this channel believes in which is adopting these guys as often as possible but I was thinking to myself, hmm, there has to be people who want to know all of the reasons they shouldn't get one. So that's what today's video is all about. Stick around for just a second, and that is what we will be coming up with next. All right, guys, like I said, it's time to start discussing those seven reasons why you should not get a chinchilla. So I want to dive into those with reason number one being super simple, but you should not get a chinchilla if you are not patient. Why, you may be wondering? Well, it's pretty simple. These guys require patience from many different levels. So when you decide to adopt a chinchilla, one of the biggest things with patience is that beginning phase when they just don't really like you. Unless, of course, you're super lucky, which does happen, but most of the time, it ain't gonna be you. Sometimes, this ain't gonna be the way that they interact during those, those first few weeks. They just don't, they don't warm up to you that fast. So you have to have patience. You have to build that bond with them. Otherwise you're gonna get frustrated. You're not going to be happy with that adoption that you just did. See if I can get her off my arms and off the camera here. But it is a big thing with these guys. Patience, patience, patience. If you don't have patience, do not adopt a chinchilla, period. Reason number two, guys, is off the beaten path a little bit from what other people talk about on their channels or on their websites, but chinchillas are extremely difficult to travel with. So if you're the kind of person that's always on the go and you're always traveling, a chinchilla is probably not the pet for you because you'll either need to A, get somebody to constantly be watching your chinchilla or B, be putting them at risk all the time. Chinchillas, when they travel a lot, they get stressed relatively easy. It can lead to overheating. Plus, there's only like one airline that allows a chinchilla to fly, which I think is Delta. Um, not a good idea. So if you're somebody who's always on the go, never at home, chinchilla is probably not the pet for you. Reason number trace, reason number three, guys, that you should not get a chinchilla is if you just do not like that timid nature of the chinchilla. They are scared easily. They, they kind of corner to themselves pretty easily, especially in the beginning. You know, compared to other pets, I, I personally own a yellow lab as well and a Jack Russell Terrier. Obviously, those are complete different ends of the spectrum. They're crazy. They want to be around you. They're not timid in any fashion. They love people. Chinchillas are not necessarily like that. I mean, she's pretty awesome, clearly. But if you don't like that pet that gets scared easily or that your friends can't pet and handle or that you can't always cuddle with, a chinchilla probably isn't the best pet for you. Guys, reason number four, and this reason probably makes me sound like a cruel pet owner, but reason number four is also kind of simple. Get her off me real quick. If you don't like the idea of 15 or more years with a rodent, don't adopt a chinchilla. These are one of the longest living rodents that you can own. This is not a rat. This is not a guinea pig. This isn't a mouse. It's not a gerbil. It's none of them. It's not even a ferret, a goo, whatever else you can adopt i don't know but these guys with proper care i mean she's over five now look at her doesn't look a day over nine weeks she's perfect but if you don't like the idea of having to be responsible for this pet for the next 15 years don't adopt a chinchilla adopt something that has a shorter lifespan 
these guys are meant to build a bond with and have around for a very long time. So keep that in mind before you go adopt one. All right guys, reason number five, and I hope that this doesn't apply to like that many people, but I'm sure it does happen. But if you don't have a means of climate controlling the house or the environment where your chinchilla would live, don't adopt one because they'll die. They need climate control. They need a working air conditioner or a window unit of some sort. Needs to be below about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, low humidity levels. If you can't provide that, just don't adopt one because it's gonna be tough to give them a safe environment at that point. Or if you live in somewhere where it's just harder to make that happen, which is understandable if that's the case. But if you've been leaning towards it and you can't make those things happen, do not adopt a chinchilla. All right guys, we've got it summed up to only two reasons left, two why you should not adopt a chinchilla. And the next one is, it's pretty important actually. So if you don't want to learn about them, what they need, what best practices are, do not adopt one. This is more of an exotic pet. I know that you can get it at Petco and PetSmart and that it's not that hard to find a breeder, but there's less people that own chinchillas than there is other forms of rodents or other small pets which means you need to educate yourself on certain things, not only to keep them alive, but to have the ability to build a bond with them. If you don't want to do that, if you have no desire to, you know, learn how to read their body language, learn what they need hygiene wise, learn what foods are safe for them, then you shouldn't be adopting one because it is a little bit of a learning curve. Even learning how to pick these guys up, there, there's a learning curve involved. And if you don't want to be any part of that, then don't adopt one. It This right here with her curled up in my lap, this did not happen um, by miracle or just by chance. It took time and it took working with her and learning to make that happen. So if you don't want to do that, don't adopt one. And if you do want to do that, use useful resources to get the information. That's why websites like planetchinchilla.com exist. That's why there's an ebook that I created on that website. Just go to ebooks downloads and you can see that ebook. I'll also put a link in the description below. But for now, we're gonna move on to reason number seven, which is you don't wanna get them out of the cage and you don't wanna interact with them. Some people, I've never understood it, honestly. I think it's pretty stupid. But some people like want pets for like, not even for show, I don't even know what it would be for. They just don't do anything with them, just to say they own a pet, I guess. Um, if that's you, don't get one of these guys. I, right here, I know that I'm making a YouTube video right now, but even if I wasn't, this is required. Like it's the ethical way to raise a chinchilla. If you don't wanna do that, don't adopt one. They need some time out of the cage, they need some social interaction. If you don't wanna play with them, if you don't wanna pet them, if you don't wanna do any of those things, <laughs> then don't get one. Not just because I'm telling you not to, but because it's stupid and ludicrous. So if you have no desire to interact with these guys, if you don't want to get them out of the cage, if you don't want to clean the cage, if you don't want to be a pet owner, don't inquire about getting a chinchilla. Right, Chili? Tell them what's up. Be like, yeah, I need, I need some stuff. If you're going to own me, I need certain things. Like waters with bubble, bubbles and oats. All right, guys, those are my top seven reasons on why you should not get a chinchilla. I could give you about 113 reasons why you should, but that's not what this video is about. So if any of those seven reasons are you, do not go adopt one. You don't need one. You shouldn't be taking care of one. If none of those apply to you, go adopt one, go get one. They're awesome pets. I advocate for it 100%. And so does Chili, right? Come here. Don't make me look like an idiot in front of all these people. We have like 170 subscribers and you're gonna make all of them think I'm an idiot. All right guys, that's about all I have for you on this topic. As always, Chili and I appreciate you guys for coming by the channel. If this video was helpful, if it made you make a decision about if you should adopt a chinchilla or not, give us that thumbs up like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you are notified every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Central when the new videos come out. And of course, we will see you on those days during the next video. Last thing, don't forget to go to planetchinchilla.com and don't forget to check out that link in the description below for that ebook offer. For any of you coming from the YouTube channel, 
to check out that ebook, there will be a promo code, which is chincare50, C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E-5-0. You can use that checkout for 50% off. That is for the YouTube audience here. If not, no big deal, but we still appreciate you stopping by the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.